Hi guys, welcome back to another Traveler's Notebook process video. Um, this one is really, really super simple and um, it came together really quickly. I um, recently watched the Santa Clarita diet and I have to admit, I really love it. So I decided to put it in my Traveler's Notebook and I, I searched on Google and um, brought it into Photoshop and manipulated it so it was the size that I needed for my notebook. So what I'm doing now is I um, grabbed the stencil that we got in the mixed media kit from Kitaholic Kits and I'm using a Hero Arts, um, I'm pretty sure it's Pale Tomato uh, ink colour there and I'm just using one of those Tim Holtz ink blending tools, the, the circle one. I don't know if there's a special name for it, but it's the circle one. And I'm just um, applying some ink to this stencil. And I just absolutely love how crisp and clean it came out. So here comes the big reveal. I didn't want to do it in my notebook because I was scared I'd stuff it up. So I had a test run and I did it on some paper. And when I was like position, position. I can't even talk oh my goodness when I was trying to position it in my notebook <laughs> oh my goodness um I thought well I could just do it on a uh, another piece of paper and cut it out and stick it in so just love how I uh, just that geometric heart it just I love it so I wanted to use it straight away so I did get my heat gun out and just dry it up a bit because I did find that um, I got a bit of red ink on my fingers so I didn't want to transfer it to the photo. So here I'm just um, marking my photo because it slightly overhung the page. Just trimming it down and then I'll add some double sided tape and stick it into my notebook. And I did a pretty decent job of getting getting it in there straight and sorry for my heads heads in the view there um, just wanted to make sure I was getting it all even in there and I'm just grabbing my bone folder and burnishing it especially along the um, the center of the book there so it could close properly so I did type my journaling with my typewriter and I'm just cutting it into strips now and I'm gonna stick it on the heart I um I did play around a bit and you don't see it because I cut it a lot of footage out of me just mucking around playing with placement and that um, and I came the, came to the conclusion that I wanted to keep this page nice and clean and just focus on that photo and the journaling with that uh, gorgeous geometric heart in the background there. So I did go to my computer and uh, design a few little things that I thought I might have used including these um, hearts. I only end up using uh, one heart from the sheet um, but that's okay because the rest of it can go into my stash and I'm sure I'll use it for another project. And I'll just take this moment to say to um, Come and pop over to my Facebook group. Um, I do offer free printables and sometimes some free cut files and um, uh, hopefully I'll get some time this week and I might pop them ones up into the group as well.
just got my Dymo labeler out. I wanted to bring some black into the right side of the spread and I'm just uh, typing out love this and I'll pop that in the bottom right corner there and I stick one of those little red hearts above it and then basically I just grab my date stamp and um, pop the date on and that's it. I was really tempted to splatter some paint or something on here but I held myself back <laughs> and um, kept it really really clean and simple. So that's it for me today guys, sorry if I sounded like a rambling lunatic, <laughs> couldn't talk. Um, I will slow the footage down so you can see uh, the book up close and have some still photos and if you stay to the end of the video you'll see some links to some other Traveller notebook process videos that I've done. So thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on my next video, bye!